Okay, let's start this one. This one, uh, I know what it's going to be because I went and saw, uh, I started to say the Lion King, but the Woman King uh, uh, last night at the Commodore Theater. Uh, but I wait for that kind of thing today. So we talk to the Instagram people. Uh, okay, so I got it done now. Well, you know, I usually I, I put all the stuff together for you, whatever it is, but uh, this time I decided I will. Uh, don't worry about what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this the stand that this is on, you know. So I had to, did that just move? Um, so anyway, like that. Uh, so I started to, wow, what's going on with this thing? Okay, I'll leave that alone. Oh, got to get it set up. Let me get the incense. Got to get the bad spirits out. Oh, that's the, you know. Ah, okay, so I won't, uh, let me just tell you uh, again my little history in, uh, in film studies, if you will. I, I've been seeing film a long time. Let me just go to the to the academic credentials, whatever it is. My undergraduate degree is actually had a double major. One's communication, and my concentration in communication was actually uh, television production and video. You know, video when you had the video with the tape and all that stuff, you know, and, uh, and, and well, I was very good at it, right? My stuff with radio is I basically, I would say I'm self-taught in radio, but um, I have my own radio. Yeah, I'm sort of self-taught in the radio, but uh, my I do have undergraduate degree in communications and also in, uh, in, in English, well, it's English literature, with, in English, well, English literature and film studies. Let's put it that way. So, so those things uh, I'm sort of, uh, I know, you know, and of course, uh, theater is my other, my other thing. Okay, this is going good. Put that up there, and that's the uh, cool water. Uh, and says, okay. So, well, let me just do it here. Maybe I'll talk to you afterwards. Uh, talk to these folks. I'm gonna tell you all the same thing. I'm just saying they have bona fides in in, in film, and then uh, one of my early uh, task, if you will, uh, when I when I came out of graduate school, not taking my degree in, in graduate school for playwriting, I came to New York, went back to theater, and uh, was dissatisfied with it. So I ended up at, and for a number of reasons, ended at BAI. And, uh, and one of the first things I did was attach the drama and literature department. I mean, yes, I helped Bernard with emanations, but really I was in the drama and literature department, you know, because... <laughs> the whole drama and literature and one of the first things I did was did reviews but I would go to the movie theater and do that first day review and it was like a common thing one of the best reviews I ever did oh this was great Eddie Murphy did a movie right okay wait a second Yusuf Lamar part of Creative Unity he could do a good Eddie Murphy right there was this oh, I forgot this young guy's name but he could do an Eddie Murphy too right but he wasn't with Creative Unity he just started hanging out with us right the young guy uh so, so I did this. I, I wrote this review about this thing that Eddie Murphy did. I think it may have been after Forty Eight Hours. He had a few films under his thing, so I noticed that he never got any. He, he didn't got no poontang in his movie, right? So, I wrote this review. Well, where, 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 where I guess the two Eddie Murphy said, "No, I'm the real Eddie Murphy. I'm the real." Eddie. Somehow they I somehow wrote this review about this film, right? And then, then the one Eddie Murphy said, yeah, "But you know." You don't get no trim, right? Like I said, hey, that's right. I don't get no trim. It was I. I, I don't have that record. I really wish that was a great review. It was a really, really good review. I can't even remember what film it was. Uh, okay, so let me get this ready. Um, I did that a lot. I know a lot about film. Let's just put it that way. A lot about film. And when I, I'm the kind of person when I see the film. Here's my here's my thing. Uh, I figure everybody that did the film did the film, including the score. Um, and um, the thing about the score, I might not mention this in review, but the, uh, Terrence Blanchard did the score for um, for this uh, the Woman King, and uh, that's fine. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, uh, and so, you know, it's all right, you know. And, and he tried to do a lot of uh, there's a lot of African elements in it and stuff like that. But I'm the kind of person when I, I, I first of all I want to go to this film ahead of you know from the beginning, all the commercials, I don't care, right? 
and then I stay into it. It used to be the union bud would be the last thing that you see coming up, but now they've got a whole, whole other things. But I stay to the very end because I'm with the composer, like the music people. And what that means is that if the composer's composing this thing, they're, they're watching the whole film. I want to hear everything to the very end. Everything that they, that's my movie experience. I don't go to the, and they got the good sound system at theaters. So I don't go to, uh, to a, 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 a so just to see the film, then when the credits roll, I'm, I'm running out of it. No, I don't even. I'm not even really watching the credits, even though you, you can get a good. If you're going to be in the film, you need to see, watch all the credits, and see this, and rec start recognizing some names. You know what I mean? So that when you go to make your big plunge into the world of cinema, then you'll know who you're talking to. Now, I'm talking to the, the 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 first assistant directors and all that. You you notice those names because. If you watch it for a number of years, you see they, they start becoming directors and other things and whatever. Yeah, okay. yeah editors and all that stuff. Okay. Um, so I, I try I, I try to get the whole the whole experience because I'm going there for the work of the, of everybody that's in this, that's done the film. Okay. Okay. So let me let me uh, get our thing together here. Uh, take this thing off a of ring just in case somebody should call me. I don't want to. Interrupt with what, what, uh, what's happening on the good old Instagram. Okay, get ready. Get ready. Here we go. Uh, oh, you're you're a part of the making of, you know, just the behind the scenes, how this thing gets gets put together, right? So I got my glasses, I got everything, I got the thing, the do, 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 do. Okay, everything is here. I can start. Even though I didn't have any drink. Uh, uh, I'll drink a little bit later. And water. Okay. I've been doing coconut water like a bandit lady. I don't even do the regular drinking water that, 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 that everybody got. I don't do the plastic and the plastic bottles. I don't do that. Just do coconut water. Okay, here we go. I don't really sound African enough like that. I mean, it's not like an African song. I'm just like, oh, hey, Instagram, it's me, T. When the Patterson's taking the train to the bed. Okay, so as promised yesterday's day, um, I saw, um, uh, I started to say the Lion King, but, <laughs> but the, the Woman King, right? That's the that's the, the movie that's the, the newest, to whatever it is, right? I should say this. Let me just jump back for a second. When, um, when Black Panther came out, um, I knew as soon as they had the women warriors, I know about the homie warriors. I knew about that before, right? They had to, they, they was going to make a movie, either a spinoff or, or with the Dharmalaje or whatever they were called or, or the, the homie. I did, that just was going to happen, right? But let me just say something about, um, real quick about Black Panther. Black Panther to me, everybody, you know, everybody chimes in, they saw it or didn't see it, they saw clips or whatever it is. And for me, to sum it all up, Black Panther was merely, I'm going to say merely, sorry to use that word, uh, a an African-American filmmaking crew is sending a love letter to Africa. That's all. Don't get into this whole thing. Oh, this is, this is, kill Mark is important. This is important on the authenticity and what you need. Da, 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 da. The, 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 the CIA trained his people. None of that. Stuff. It's just a love letter to Africa. That's all it was, right? Now, uh, the Woman King, that's something else, right? Yeah, here's the thing. Here's the way I sum it up. First of all, like I said, I watched the whole film. I went to see it at a, at a, uh, at a theater here, a very famous theater um, in Portsmouth uh, called uh, The Commodore. Now, a lot of people that, uh, older, older folks that live in, in the, in the, uh, the Hampton Roads area, you know, where you got Norfolk and Virginia Beach and, and Portsmouth and the Chesapeake, that, that, that kind of area there, um, they don't go to the Commodore because back in the day, Back in the day, I mean, this is, I guess most people, did, they didn't live through this, I guess. It's all, all over it. Now, that was the, it was a segregated theater. You know I mean? how they had the black people up top and whatever it is. So, they, so people claim they didn't want to go because of some sort of whatever thing. And the Commodore Theater is very unique. Uh, it's, a, it's one of the early dinner, the, dinner theaters. Uh, well, it's a dinner theater. Now, where you, you have your meals. You can have your meals to watch a film, right? Now, this is before... Um, uh, what's, what's that thing we went to? Uh, Al Alamo's, Alamo Theater, the Alamo Steakhouse, whatever, the Alamo thing. Are they still going? Maybe I should check Brooklyn, Brooklyn, see if they're still going. But they're, they're, the food is reasonably priced, mo mostly, uh, you know, they have their nachos and, and uh, parmesan, I guess, 
<laughs> no, I'm, I'm mixing it up when I went to the, the other thing. But they have the thing. Hey, my brother. Um, uh, yeah, Jeff Corum. Hey, morning. Uh, morning, brother. Uh, so, um, so, so, but they have certain things like that. And so I decided, what did I have? Oh, I decided for some reason, I really don't, I haven't had a pastrami sandwich in a long time. And we're down here in Virginia. I figured they don't make a pastrami sandwich like being up in Cats in New York. But I said, let me have a pastrami because I want well, the sauerkraut and uh, it was pastrami and uh, the Swiss cheese, yes, well, Swiss cheese on rye. I think the rye thing. And so I had, had that, right? Uh, that's what I ordered, right? And my sister, when she was going, she wanted a, she likes those carafe, you know, we get it, two people have the carafe, right? But she don't drink a lot of wine anyway. So I thought she wanted me to pick the rinds. I saw a Riesling on the other one, did a Riesling. Then she said, no, not that. Not that, not that. She, well, finally, she wanted, she, wanted, she wanted the Chardonnay from the beginning. You know, people do this all the time. They they ask me to suggest something. I'm just, I'm going to suggest something, but they, then they say, no, that's not what they want. They want, okay, forget that. Okay, it's my sister. Oh, that's why. Oh, I should say this. Now, my, uh, Every time I come down, no matter, my, my sister goes to see, she basically only go to the movies at the Commodore, whatever is playing at the Commodore, that's where she goes. And she had to, you know, she put the, she got the seats. Oh, we had, we had a really, we had good seats. When I say good seats, it was only, when we came in, there was only three other black people there, no white people. And then later on, like four other, uh, a couple of other, uh, a, 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 a couple of couples came in. So it's basically seven, uh, me and my sister, eight, nine. So it is nine people watching. Uh, the 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 woman king at this at the comedy of theater, uh, but most most people don't want to go to that. But the prices to me are reasonable, and you know we senior citizens, so the the price is like eight dollars a ticket, um, so eight and eight is sixteen, right? And then I purposely I usually pay the movie the movie thing, and my sister pays for the food, right? But what happens was I purposely I give them twenty dollars, so I get my change because they give you uh, uh, two dollar. They give you two dollar bills and change, so basically I get two two dollar bills back, right? And I sort of collect them in a weird sort, not collect them, but I sort of collect them. In a weird, I would run in there and show it to you, but another time uh, when I come when I, when I come, I got to go to New York. When I come back, I think that new movie uh, Amsterdam, the one with uh, the one uh, with uh, Denzel's son and uh, and uh, who's in it? Uh, uh, Christian Bale and Margot Robbie and uh, oh Chris Rock's in it, but some other people, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see that. Why? Yeah, why not? Right? See that the Commodore Theater. So I know my sister's gonna go, right? So, um, so when I get back, I'll I'll see that. Uh, well, I'll see that the Commodore Theater. Um, so anyway, back 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 to movies. So when I do films, I see the whole film. The problem with something like, see, I don't I don't. Okay, let me just say this. First of all, let me just say uh, the movie is fine. It's, it's all right. It's regular. Hollywood, whatever you want to call it, a movie they got the, the thing. thing. Um, there's some some building relationships. In fact, the whole pacing is is fine. It's it's good. It's a very competent filmmaker. I forget the the Gina, the, the director is a female, black female. It's fine. No, I have no problems with that. Uh, I think the problem that people have with the, the historical record, you know, people going back, well, this is not what really happened, and, this, and then you're going to put the slavery on this and that and the other, and that's I understand. I, I understand. I'm not going to all all the woke. All, all, not to say woke, that's a bad term. You know, all the hotel people, all the historians, and whatever have you, you got it. I understand that. But you have to understand, this is a Hollywood film, and you can call it a Hollywood girl power film. That's all it is. That's what you look at. I mean, that's what you look at. That's, that's, that's what you, 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 you get from the, from the thing, right? So I have no problem. Hey, if, you, if you're going to do a story and you're going to focus on this, then you're going to focus on that. As simple as that. This whole slavery thing and with the homie and the slavery thing, I'm not going to get into that. You all just got to do your own research and figure out what's going on. I've had a conversation a long time ago. In fact, it's up on my YouTube. Maybe I'll put in a, 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 a tap. No, nobody. Well, oh, uh, with, with with James Small, and we talked about this whole uh, slavery thing, uh, uh, Africans sell other Africans into slavery, whatever it is. But it's more a little bit more complicated. But I, in fact, one of the things, let me just say what he basically he said, look, if you're a farming community, that's what you do. You farm. You're not a uh, you're not a warrior society, right? And um, and uh, you um, and this is goes for Europeans and mainly um, that that came to colonize. Uh, and so you know that's what you do. You farm. There's certain farming implements that you can use as weapons like that, but you don't have swords or whatever have you. You know all that stuff. So if some uh, it's like like the Magnificent Seven. 
the bandits come, they say, look, when we come next month, we want so-and-so and so-and-so. So they say, look, we're going to come back. We want so many men, so many women, da 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 And that's that's how a lot of the smaller for uh, uh, tribes, if you will, tribes, what do, you call it? what do we call it, clans, whatever it is, got 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 enslaved, right? And the warrior societies, they, well, they they did what they did, right? So I don't want to get into all that. You, you get on to that. I would just like to say, and then you can see a lot of things sort of come into relationships. Like it's a regular Hollywood spinning the story, whatever it is, and it's fine. I mean, if you like action, if you if you into the girl power thing, it doesn't really doesn't matter what which one it is. There's a lot of you know, yeah, but the the women were beating up on the men and the ease of what they did. I mean, if I had any complaint, it's like not complaint. But let me let me say this: when when our food was was coming right, and I I also ordered a, a side thing the, um, of uh, a spinach and uh, an artichoke, right? And so I was busy with that put, and baked potato, and I was busy putting the butter on the baked potato. So when the movie came on, that's what I was doing. So I noticed a little bit, you know. Uh, and so the first scene basically is the woman warriors go up and beat up on some men. I guess they were warriors. I don't know what they were. Some some African men. These are Africans on Africans, right? And and I was gonna say, oh, this reminds me of the you know the seventies and eighties when to prove that you was you was bad, the first thing you did is you beat up on a black man. Uh, a case in point, you ever see the movie Blue Velvet? Well, Blue Velvet, you know the the guy that did a racial hit up with a Lynch, whatever the guy did. Uh, I think he did the the TV series with the strange TV series up there in the North Pole, or whatever it was, right? But for no particular reason, uh, 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 Nicholas, Nicholas Case comes 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 out, and he uh, he beats up on a black guy, big black guy, and this proves to you that you have some prowess. Right? So that that used to be a trope, you know. Aside from the black person always getting black men, basically always getting killed in the first reel. The other thing was that if you wanted to prove that you was a badass, you know, uh, white person or a badass, whatever it is, then you'd have to beat up on a black on a black person, you know, a black man. I'm just saying. So that's how this movie starts. So I can understand where people have their issues with. But for me, it's a fine movie. Okay, it's all right. You know what I mean? I'm glad I saw it on the big screen. You know, and and I would I wouldn't say I would go see. It. Yeah, I guess I would actually go want to see it in the big screen again. You know, maybe somebody's gonna have it on the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever gonna see it again. But um, but it's fine. Everybody, the acting is great. You know, the, you can see. You can even see with. I don't want to give any spoilers with. But you can see where there's potentials for, uh, for for sequels. And then you have, here's, here's what they did that was really smart. Well, smart, slick. Uh, one of the white guys that look white, right? His background is that his mother was Dahomey and his father was, I guess, Portuguese, right? And before she she had just died and she her, her wish was for him to go to Dahomey. So this guy that looks white, he goes to Dahomey. He's, Let's call them a, I know you, you all say mixed race. I, I call all these folks, these mixed race people, I call them mocha babies, you know. So he's a mocha baby, even though he looks very white, right? And and he's hooked up with the with the young the young Dahomean warrior that basically the movie happens through her eyes. You know, with, with her experience is what is what, how you approach, to, how you get into your, your narration of the movie, if you will, or your, your awareness of, of what's going on, right? And so you can see where there, there might, that you can see at, uh, uh, two things that there could be a sequel where she has his baby and then something happens with that right but also one of the things they did is uh you know how they have now they have the you have the the, the, the beginning credits you know first thing they'll they'll come on with uh, the the uh, unit production manager then they have all all the or maybe they'll start with the director whatever they'll they'll get you know, anyway they'll they'll have this this thing and then then before they get into the regular cast right uh there's like some a logical break, right? And uh, in this logical break, they had uh, one of the women doing libations to the fallen warriors because they had a big, big fight or whatever have you. Uh, the fallen warriors or whatever have you. So you can tell there's there's there was a there's a setup for a sequel, and I guess for box office people don't want to support it. Then all these black people ain't gonna have no sequel. So what can I tell you? They could have, you know, I don't know. You know, let's see what Black Panther does with its sequel, right? So, you know, so a lot of black people being, being, being whatever. But it's interesting because a lot of people who complain about this, these kind of things, yeah, blah, 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 Hollywood, da, 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 they say, I say, okay, great, 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 we yeah, understand, I understand that. And uh, the thing is, they should have do this, they should have did that. Well, you know, like I said, look, uh, 
I'm, I'm a theater person, and one of the things I, I was trained at Negro Ensemble Company, and the, the first two seasons of the Negro Ensemble Company, I was there. And one of the plays we did was Kungi's Harvest. Well, Kungi's Harvest, uh, R.C. Davis wanted to make a film of it, filming it in Africa, wanted to get funding for whatever they have had it. And it never really took off, but it was just, oh, don't talk about it. This is the, I guess it's the 70s when it came out. But anyway, so, so it wasn't supported by black people. Ain't nobody was complaining. And in fact, I think a sorority gave them money. A black sorority gave them money, uh, R.C. Davis money to, you know, to do that film, right? So unless you got money, right? Unless you get your reparations, or you, unless we get our reparations, unless Africa uh, it becomes one, uh, a united Africa, and we and and people in the diaspora get their their passports with their rep with their reparations, they got money. You know what I mean? Then you know you're never gonna have a film industry where you 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 know you're not you're not can control anything. You know. And, and there's a lot of stories to be told. And if you want it to be told in your vision and whatever have you, aside, aside from making a documentary, you want to do it as, as a narrative, as, as a, you know, as a regular film, uh, then then you got to get the cash. You know, you ain't got the cash. You can sit there and play. But my, and, you, and blah, blah, all you want. But my main thing is a lot of people who comment on these things, they didn't see the film. And the way you watch a film, you, you take it, you take it all in. You don't say, oh, you don't, you don't stop in the middle and say, oh, did they do this? They didn't do that. Whatever. I guess that's the problem when you have these things on uh, on streaming services because you can stop it or whatever and make your comment. You're supposed to take take a watch in the film. Look, uh, one, I'll, I'll leave you with this. Uh, a, a last thing like this. Well, somebody else is waving. Who's that? I can't see it because I got the sun in my eyes. Whoever else did, hey, what's up? Another person. Um, there's a film, a South African film, called Miners Shot Down, right? And when it came out, a lot of people, they, they show clips. A lot of people comment on the clips. But to, but if you see that film, like with a, in a group, like I saw it at the University of Forehead in, in the auditorium, you see that film, you see the whole film. When that ending comes, it affects you. I mean, it's like, I, I actually cried. You know what I mean? So, so you have to see a film in, in its entirety. Uh, another film like that, uh, not like, well, another film, uh, uh, Lars Van Tier did a film called Mandalay, one of my favorite films. Uh, it was uh, Danny Glover. Uh, basically, the premise is, what if, um, what do you call that, uh, uh, Uncle Tom, you know what I mean, you know, uh, when, when, all, when he got rid of, when he makes sure all the people got safe, because Uncle Tom is not, he's, uh, another misinterpretation, Sam is the, is the bad person. Uncle Tom's actually a good person. Anyway, um, what if they actually control the plantation, right? This, this is the, the premise of, of, of Mandalay. If you watch that whole film, at the, when it comes for the, for the credits, right, and they use uh, David Bowie's Young, Young Americans, and they, they and he shows all of the the the, the struggle you know, black people had to go you know segregation you know I think show slavery and civil rights and whatever have you it affects you you have a certain you feel a certain way about it so unfortunately we don't watch films the way you're supposed to watch films because of all these streaming services and then the convenience you can go and pop up and get your little you know live whatever you're going to get like that. But to see a film proper, if you're going to comment on a film, is if it's made as a film for the theater, then you need to go to the theater to see the whole film. Sit down, shut up, don't be talking next to nobody, and watch the film. That's all I got to say. This is it's it's imperative. And then you can come to your own conclusion. Then if you want to comment on it, or if you you think you're a film critic, or you're going to do some critique on it well then you know then get 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 a lot of the story get get the full background that's what i'm trying to say that's all i got to say so i check you all later you know um uh yeah um but just in case you don't know i've been waiting on the comments what i do is i have a i have another camera going but it's like the, the making of the background of all this other stuff. And I have little bit of nuggets in there sometimes, you know, like that. So I always put in the comments a little bit later so you can, and you have to, uh, you have to uh, hi highlight it and paste it onto the URL because I don't, it doesn't go through, I don't put it through the uh, YouTube, even goes to YouTube, I put it through my pitch shoot. So that's, that's what I've been doing these days. Okay. What have you been doing? Have you seen, uh, let me, let me talk the way, but have you seen the woman of uh, the woman king? Right, which is like a you know provocative kind of title, I guess. Well, well, if you, look, let me put it this way: if you want to support uh, black women in Hollywood, 
I guess you go see they give the give the money to the white man, whoever made this film, right? And then they'll make another one, right? Either that, or you, or you, especially the Pan Africanists or you know, people who you know, you know the, uh, uh, who are complaining about this. Other than that, then you got to really do your Pan African thing and and make Africa one, so we have the resources to make our own films, historically correct films. Actually, some films have been made in Africa. You just don't know about them. You know the, the whole thing about the Senegalese and, and how they got. Uh, in World War Two, how they get they they did their, their thing and they came back and they all got slaughtered, or whatever happened. That film is made in French, but anyway, there's a lot of films on the planet, and just because you 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 you're hooked up with the Hollywood reality, well, Hollywood begets Hollywood begets Hollywood. There's a formula, and that's what happens. All right, okay. <sighs> I talk too much this one. It's supposed to be Instagram. Oh well. Anyway, I check you later. Bye. Okay. I did talk too long. I didn't really want to talk that that long, but I did, unfortunately. So now I gotta share. Okay, and then I said, I just put uh, the brother. Uh, speaks. On, I like to say speaks on. That's like from the sixties too. Yeah, hey man, yeah, speak on it, brother. You know, I need to speak on. I like that better than hey man, speaks on. Uh, I put. I gotta put the because I can't put the because it's a proper title. I gotta put that the. Uh, what was it? The the woman king. I guess it's the woman king. W O. Yeah. The woman king. K I N G. Because you know somewhere in the in the movie, yeah, K I N G. Yeah, K I N G. Somewhere in the movie, you suppose you need to say the title somehow. How the title comes about. So that's what that's what's happening. Tag people. I don't want to tag nobody. Western branch. Um. I guess I should. Oh wait, maybe maybe I should tag. Maybe they have. The Woman King. I should put on Hollywood's The Woman King. And I put on Hollywood's H O L L. Hollywood. I have to come back into this. Uh, the Hollywood's The Woman King. Okay, great. Let me tag. Um, let me tag The Woman King. Add tag. The woman king, king. The woman king film is right there. Yeah, woman king film, woman king movie. Both the woman king movie. I'll do that one. Which one should I put? Oh, that's UK. This woman king movie. I guess that's that's here, United States. So, do that one. So I tag that. I mean, maybe they'll look at it. Maybe they won't. I. I really don't, you know. I'm not into subscribing and and, and and liking and all the rest of that stuff. I mean, I'm I'm in, I can do it for other people, but I'm not. I don't need it for myself. Um, add to series. Oh, what's what's this series? Or add this to. Oh, uh, I'm gonna put on the country ADO strategies. Why not? Because it is a strategy for uh, liberation. Share. Okay, that's going up. See, done. Okay, meanwhile, uh, I got to, uh, uh, oh man, I, I leave on Thursday. This is Tuesday. Ooh. Um, so I just, I have to ration my food, whatever it is. So um, yesterday was my non-eating day, even though I went to the movies in April. That sort of broke my fast at night. I didn't do my 36 hour fast this week. I guess next week I'll, I'm in New York, I'll do it. But um, I got these, I got two different kinds of seedless grapes, right? And I got a good avocado. I got, um, what do you call that? Uh, kiwi fruit. <laughs> I'm not gonna put the mango in there. And I think I got some red berries, but I'm not gonna put the red and some blackberries. So I'm not gonna put them in there. I just, I'm gonna do the, I'm just gonna do the kiwi fruit. The, um, also have, a, uh, what's the name? But I'm not gonna use it either. I'm gonna use the kiwi fruit, the avocado, and the grapes. That's what be my, I'm eating my, my uh, what do you call that? I'm eating my water. That's how I eat my water. So I eat, eat my fruit in the morning, 
right? I drink uh, coconut water all day long. Every, and, uh, and at night I have a regular meal and then, uh, you know, that's what it is. Okay? All right. So I'll check you all later. You be well. All right?